somebody brought a box of ashes. Look at this. So somebody brought a box of ashes that they collected that someone died, right? And I'm not gonna say the person's name because of confidentiality and a respect of family because this is for educational purposes only. So I'm gonna take out the name of the person so we don't see the person's name, right? And it's nice. We went to All Souls Cremation Chapel, which is in uh, Queens over there, and we got nice ashes. Now, these ashes, it's nice. When we collect these ashes, what we're supposed to do is we say our, uh, our pundits and priests and our gurus tell us to bring these ashes and throw them in the water, right? Now, because why? What's the whole point of the water thing, right? We say that we believe that no matter how much sin we do in life, if our ashes are thrown at the Ganges, in that water, then we receive moksha. We go to liberation, right? We get everything we want. If the person died and they give you, this person was a female, they passed away, probably weighed maybe 150 pounds. They become two pounds of ashes, you and all, all that, right? If you leave the ashes in here, how are you gonna liberate them? Sealed bag of ashes oh with the bones and everything, right? Now, this ashes, it's the person's dead body, okay? Now, if you brought the ashes here from All Souls Crematorium, because three days after that person is cremated in Trinidad and Guyana, Suriname, etc., when someone passes away, we go right after in the morning and we will pick it, take out five pieces of bone, put it in milk, in a kalash, and then we'll put it in the ocean, far in the water. We believe because all waters are connected. So we believe this water, the water in Guyana, Jamaica, and the water in India is all connected, so the same blessings we get. Right? So you were told and you were instructed to bring these ashes of this person and throw it in the water. Which is great. Do that. But you can't leave it like this. Because what's going to happen? This person's soul, as you, as you believe, is still trapped here on the five bones. So what can you do with it? Let me show you, right? First of all, you take, out, you take this out. This is this. You wash it. I take it out. And these ashes over here, that this person died, right? You take a hole. And you see, old person. So when someone die over here and they cremate them, what they do is they collect everything from the incinerator and they crush it to pulverize the ashes, okay? And if you bring it here, I'm gonna say a prayer for this person, right? I'm not sure if they're Christian or Hindu, but I'll do what I know. Oh, manadi, you know, devam. Shanka Chakra Gadadra Akshaya Pundarika Aksha Preta Moksha Prado Bhava Om Shri Krishna E Namo Namaha And what I'm going to do is take this person ashes now and I'm asking you to do that also That person who actually says, let's go there, they're gonna bless me. And I just freed them. But you who lock them in a the case here, people who are wicked, they come and take these ashes. And if you know the right money, because etc., they can do evil things with these things. Now, do you want your mother still roaming around? You don't want that, right? So, my dear friends, take this, put it back in here. Ram Nam Satyahe. Om Shanti.